another virus that's very common, also looks like a rash, chicken pox. So tell me the difference mm -hmm. between the chicken pox, mm -hmm. measles, here's a picture of it. Right. And uh, I guess a vaccination, you're good to go. You're right. not going to get it. Right, right, right. So varicella, chicken pox, almost doesn't even exist anymore. Um, kit, uh, people our age, we all had it when we were growing up, and kids these days, they've never even seen the chicken pox. And so that's a virus. It's in the herpes family. It's in a different family of viruses than the measles. It is uh, not as serious, thankfully. It does not cause as many complications. It's usually limited to the skin. The only difference with varicella is that actually the... Um, the virus lives in our system. It stays in our, our nerve cells forever, for life. This is why, and as you get older, you can possibly develop the shingles. That's the correlation mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? This is nothing to do with children, but I'm just right. curious now because I'm 50 years old. How do you feel about the shingle shot? Well, it's it's definitely needed because shingles is so painful. Mm -hmm. It's such a terrible disease. And again, you if you've had the chicken pox, as a child, and I did. you do have those cells there, and you can develop the shingles if your immune system is compromised at any point. That's something I have to think about. Okay, how long is someone contagious when they have the uh, chicken pox, and how does that one spread? Right, so the chicken pox, you're contagious about 8 to 12 days. So, a, like, about a week before the rash appears, and then another 8 days after the rash has developed. So it's quite some time that you're contagious, and that's also spread by respiratory droplets, so saliva and mucus, and also by touching the um, actual um, vesicles.